I've already tried to film this video before. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was really excited to um, partake in the wisdom teeth video. Upon getting them out, I was on a lot of heavy medication. Heavy, me heavy me medication. Because as you can tell by the title of this video, I had a lot of problems when I got them removed. And I deleted all the footage um, of me getting them out and after. And cried about it. I cried about it. I wanted to quit YouTube. Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and my cheek is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And I'm quitting YouTube because all my footage got deleted. Thank you. And I kind of did for a little bit. I kind of was just went back to school. Was really sick because I got my wisdom teeth out. Um, and just lost a sh crap ton of weight. Let's just roll right into this video because I have to explain myself because half of these videos I um, am on. Hydrocody. Legally prescribed it, so thank you. So basically, I went to my dentist and he told me that it was time for me to get my wisdom teeth out and that I could go through an oral surgeon or he could just take them on the office because I had cavities that needed to be filled. So, the brave <laughs> that I am, I said, why don't you just take them out? Because, you know, it should be an easy procedure. I only have three wisdom teeth. Two of them are already coming in, and then my bottom left one is the only one that was impacted. So I thought, yep, you know, we'll just do it. As long as you give me some medicine to help me not be nervous and to be calm before, I am 100% okay. He gave me Valium, which is like an anxiety medicine, and upon going to the office, I took it before my procedure, and I felt it instantly. like. I was in the car and I was just totally out of it and then I was sitting in the chair in the office and I looked out the window and it was beautiful green trees. I thought they were, it was just like the most amazing thing and I was just like at peace with the world. So then they started doing my cavities which was fine. They did like two, three rounds of numbing before they did my cavities and then um, after they were done they gave me laughing gas. And then after that, after I got the laughing gas, they gave me another round of numbing. So I had around four rounds of numbing. And the cavities took the longest. Like getting my wisdom teeth was like quick, it was fast, and I was out of the office. So I was mainly in there getting my cavities filled. So that just shows like how simple the procedure was, right? The only thing I remember from the car ride back home was talking to my mom on the phone and like not even FaceTiming her, like filming like the seconds counting as we're talking on the phone and apparently I told her everybody needs to try this and I think I meant drugs. I think I told my mom that everybody needs to try drugs like laughing gas and Valium and Novocaine. I literally told my mom that so that's great. And I'm this like moon, hey. My dad asked if I wanted to go with him to go pick up my prescription and I said no I want to go home and sleep. So then I went to sleep and then I woke up and my dad was already home and I thought he hadn't left yet and I was just tripping. And I had like my gauze in my mouth and my dad looks at me and goes, are you ready for your pain medicine and your um, antibiotic? And I said, yeah. And I just whip out all my gauze and blood's everywhere. Just dripping blood everywhere. Blood, blood, blood. And um, sadly, I was just incapable of knowing what was going on. So uh, I had to take my shirt off and my dad um, literally had to stick his hand down on my shirt and wipe up the blood. Shout out to you, dad. I know you're watching this. Thank you. You're a real one. You're a homie. I love you. So then I go to take my, me my medicine. I can't swallow the pills. And I start crying again. All right, the second day, I wake up, my face is big, which only one side is big. Just one side. And it's because of my bottom one, the one that was impacted. So then I took a picture of the inside of my mouth because something was up and the stitches, because I only had stitches on the bottom. And I knew something was wrong. And I literally look 
at my freaking incision thing, whatever, and it doesn't look right. I mean, I don't really know what it's supposed to look like, but it didn't really look right. I go through the whole day and I take my medicine and I'm just sleeping and not doing anything. And I'm sending pictures to my friends, They're like, that's normal, like, you're fine. And then the third day comes. Third day, my face was huge. Today I woke up and it's even bigger. It was gross. I literally looked like Fat Monica from Friends. It was only one side of my face. One side of my face was swollen. I decide that it's important that I go and see my dentist because not only was my face huge, it was hard and the bruising was really bad and it was just, I don't, I don't even know how to explain. It was just disgusting as you could tell by the photos. I go into the office and everyone's shocked. Everyone was freaking out saying how my face is huge. We're back at the dentist. I mean, fun time. Um, they all realized how big it is, so this is abnormal. Sick. For all my friends who told me that this is normal, this is not. If it would have gone down my throat even more, I would have had to go to the ER. I can't eat anything that has seeds in it or anything because I don't have stitches anymore. Looks like he took out pieces of raspberry. That's yeah, what it looked like, like. What he was taking out was like, they think it was like muscle tissue or some form of tissue that was like not agreeing with like the stitches or whatever. I was feeling kind of good at this point because the pressure was taken off, the stitches were out. My mouth is completely numb. Like I can't feel this. I decide to go out in public. This is what we call, I'm trying to go in public because I want to pick out my groceries, but I don't want anyone to see my swollen cheeks. So. Oh, also I'm kind of on some drugs, so I kind of feel okay right now, so. You're pretty novocaine up. <laughs> pretty novocaine up. Just ran into my old, my, my neighbor that I haven't talked to in a really long time, so that's <laughs> fantastic. I look like I'm about to rob something. I'm literally just trying to like protect everybody else's eyes because they don't want to see what's underneath. This is, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> By the next day, I went back to the dentist and I cried a lot. It's really d stressful because I was supposed to go back to school today. I've never felt so emotional in my entire life. And it is because I'm on a lot of medication, but it's also because like it's just so draining and like I can't eat anything. And I've gotten this is my second day in a row going to the dentist. So let's hope something changes. So today I'm seeing a different doctor because my other doctor isn't here. Um, yeah, she agrees that it did move down my neck. So that's a little more concerning than having it on my face. Today I'm in public and I don't, I'm not covering my face. That just shows how annoyed I am about this whole thing. Literally the lady who does my nails, Sarah, shout out to you. She came over to my house and did my nails. Look who it is. Sarah's Hi. back, pampering me. My friend Megan, shout out to you, came over and just like hung out with me and talked to me. Today was my favorite message was from Megan. She goes, I go, I just woke up. She goes, I'm jealous. I go, well, I wanted to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm jealous of myself too. <laughs> By the fifth day, I went to the dentist again. We're back. Hi, um, Doc, my friend said that this is really normal. Yeah, this is not a normal reaction. Every time I would go there, he would hook me up with Novocaine, which would make me feel so much better. And then he'd like suck out all like the goopy shit. And basically, if you want to know, it was pus and blood. And I would have to massage my cheek. And it was just terrible. I was supposed to leave right from the, de the dentist to go back to school. We stayed in a hotel for when my parents were in town. And I took a picture and it was good. And then when I was by myself in my apartment, it got bigger. And I... I don't know, I was taking steps backwards. Then I realized I couldn't open my mouth. I couldn't eat foods. The only foods I was eating was like milkshakes. That's not even food. Smoothies, french fries, pizza. I have to like rip my food in order for me to be able to eat it. I took photos, um, like obviously while I came back to school I wanted to take photos with my friends, but I was like covering my cheek and like doing like these, like I'd stand on this side and like kind of look, but like then there were photos where like it wasn't hidden. I went and saw a dentist in Chicago. My dentist back home hooked me up with this homeboy that also took my friend's wisdom teeth out. So I'm at this dentist in Chicago. Let's see how it goes. He told me that 
it was still infected and that I had to do mouth stretches. And he gave me a whole nother antibiotic. I'm told to just, they couldn't do anything and that, that I just had to do mouth stretches. And um, my friends knew about it and everybody knew that I had a fat face and everybody thought it was funny. And there's videos of me doing mouth stretches out at parties and yeah, it was just, it was a fun time. And I still have problems, like it still hurts. Um, but yeah, and I went to see my dentist um, last weekend and he didn't really say anything and he said I looked fine, so that's great. So my dentist was like an OG, like I don't blame him for this. I have <laughs> luck when it comes to like anything. I don't know if I could tell you if I would go under if I were to have a redo, but that's my story and it sucks. If you're about to get your wisdom teeth out and you just came across my video, I'm so sorry. Like, you have a one in a million chance that this will happen to you. If you know of anybody who had what happened to me where their face just swelled up, I think I was allergic to stitches. So that's what I think happened. But I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope this was entertaining. Um, It was not an entertaining time. So... Thanks. So thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to follow all my social media in the links below and I will see you in my next video. Peace. That took me so long to film. I'm done. Um, I'll catch you in my next video. Peace out, broskies. That was gross.